Hi and welcome to a new channel called The Watch Doctor. My name's Ian and I'm based here in the UK in South Yorkshire. This is my first video and I'm hoping that we can use this channel to talk about watches, where there's bargains to be had, accessories such as straps, all the new micro brands coming out and there are a lot of micro brands around at the moment. But most of all, I want to use this channel to do watch reviews. And today I'm going to start with a firm favourite and one that there's lots of information about already on the internet. But here we go, it's the Casio GW M5610. So let's get to the table, open the box and have a look. Okay then, so let's get into the first review. This is how your G-Shot will come, this is how most G-Shots come. You have a cardboard case, inside you have your warranty, instructions, quick setup guide, and so on. Um, it's using the 3159 module. I recommend if it's your first one to read the actual um, uh, manual. It's quite intuitive, but obviously gets more so the more Casios you've had and certainly the more G-Shots you've had. So the majority of them that I've seen anyway come in the black tin. And oh, there's a bit of sponge and then within that we've got the watch so it still has the tag so to give it its full title it's GWM 5610 1ER and 315 showing you 3159 showing you the 315 3159 module I'll just take this off now the great thing about them generally is obviously being a quartz movement inside they're fantastically accurate but the benefit that you've got with these models over some of the others where once it focuses is the multi band now depending on where you are in the world some places in the world uh, for instance Australia for some reason don't have uh, the satellite or the tower etc whatever it is that sends a signal out so I think there's only well as six obviously as it says but I think there's only um, they only tend to be in the northern hemisphere for some weird reason anyway it tells you in the booklet I haven't read the booklet on this one uh, because living in the UK it's not an issue but as you can see very sort of iconic I mean this this is the uh, the model that's been taken as uh, the the uh, DW5000 it takes its inspiration from the DW5000 which I think is now something like 37 years old I think it was designed in and produced and sent out first of all in 1983 and for those of you that don't know, it's from a Casio engineer called Kiku, Kiku eBay, sorry, Kiku eBay, um, who I believe his parents gave him a watch that was something uh, that was very precious to him and he dropped it. I think it fell off a counter and it smashed. And he was dedicated from then to, to come up with a design that was going to be pretty much indestructible. Uh, which this is really, I mean, if you look online, this won't will not be the first review of this particular design and uh, there are literally hundreds of thousands of uh, videos out there showing you what people do to stress test these. I've seen them boiled in water, I've seen them frozen in ice, I've seen tanks driving o over them and 35 tonne trucks driving over them. The case is designed in such a way, this is just talking about the strap now, that should it fall there's a sort of spring element involved so there's some shock absorbance, uh, absorbency there but within the case the, the sort of a case within a case within a case uh, designed for shock absorbance, uh, absorbency and obviously that's what gave it the G-Shock name. There, there are literally thousands of these now, thousands of different models, colours, designs, inspirations and so on. Uh, but anyway, the model here today, as I say, is the GW M5610. And what makes that special? First of all, you have all your, your regular functions. So if you hold this down, you're able then to sort of set the watch and you can cycle through various things on that, including time zone, uh, whether or not it has automatic daylight saving and so on. Um, beyond that, you've got the day. The day, I can't, for this particular module, I've got other G-Shocks where you can actually flick this round. But for this module, uh, the five one, sorry, the 3159, it comes in month and then date. So it's actually the 10th of September today here a little bit annoying but nothing really that's a deal breaker um, you've also got the, the modes that you can cycle through here so second time zone I've got that set to LA at the minute uh, you've got a, a variety of alarms so you've got I think it's five let's have a quick cycle through oh let's see this one there we go alarm one two three four 
and snooze. Uh, so the other four will, when you press the button, they turn them off. The snooze one, snooze function will, I think it's every 10 minutes, it'll go off until you turn it off. And we've also got a stopwatch function. So start, stop, reset or start, lap. So it gives you split time, then you can check out what that was. And you've got a countdown timer, which I've got set for five minutes, very useful for cooking or boiling an egg or whatever. And then you're back to the main menu. Um, within this uh, module as well, you've got the illuminator backlight, which you can actually see, it's so bright, you can see it with the light uh, from the room, I mean, shining down on it. I'll, uh, I'll get a proper shot where it's in the dark later on. And the other thing you can do with this night light and it probably won't work here because I think it's light sensitive, is that you can set it. So um, once it's on wrist, if you tilt it, let me just see if I can do it. I don't think it'll work in the night. With the, it's too bright in here. But you can actually set it so that when you tilt the watch, no, it's, it's not. Oh, there we go. When you tilt the watch, it activates for two seconds, I believe. And that's really useful. If you, if you like me and you wear them overnight, especially if they're as comfortable as this, um, it's great, you can just flick it over and you, you can uh, read the time in the middle of the night. Or you can just pick it off your nightstand and do it then. So the other thing to, to mention, as well as the fact that it will um, uh, check these time zones, I think it checks it three times a day and keeps it incredibly accurate. Um, I've even sort of gone onto websites where there's atomic clocks and it's, it's absolutely bang on with that. So you, as long as you can get that signal, you'll never be out of time with them, which is... Uh, which is pretty incredible. But the other the other feature that it's got is tough solar. And depending on, sometimes if you catch the light just right, you can actually see the little solar panel that's hiding in the display there. So yeah, you, you've got a watch that's extremely robust. It's not gonna break anytime soon. You can use it for anything uh, from gardening to you know washing the car and so on, and put it through things. It, it's very affordable. It's a great beater. Um, uh, you've got your 200 meters worth of water resistance. You've got your screw back, screw down back. You've got your uh, multi-band, so it's super accurate. I mean, I don't know where to stop really because it's just such a great thing to have, a great, a great watch to own. Um, I personally, there's loads of different variations on this and the way that the, you can get the display on the screen. I personally like the red band that goes around, I like the flash of yellow and the blue and the white protection G-Shot. Some of those are actually blacked out on some models, so I quite like the white one. Uh, and the resin strap is just incredibly comfortable. Uh, I've had a few of these, not this particular model, but a few of these G-Shots over the year, and I think the bands are getting better. Seems to be a bit more supple uh, than some of them. So, unbelievable, I, I can't fault it. Now, I've got my eye on a kit that you can actually upgrade this to a metal G-Shock, which are usually around 400 pounds. So this was retailing from Amazon, I think at around the 87, 89 pound mark, British pounds mark. Uh, and with the add-on kit, which I've ordered from AliExpress, I think that was about $50, which works out at about 48 over here. So for around 120 pounds, um, hopefully when that comes, it'll fit because I have read online that sometimes they're, they're a bit awkward, although reading the website, I think that might be down to um, which model has been chosen because they do a couple. So I've, I've specifically picked this for the 5610. And when that comes, I'm going to get that straight on and I'll do a video about modding this. So we might be then looking at a metal uh, G-Shock for around £120 instead of £400. But I'll keep you updated and uh, we'll have a look at that. So uh, that's it. So let's go back to the green room. So there we go. I think for the money, we can all agree that this is a fantastic bargain. It's affordable, it's comfortable, it's packed with features. It's got a fantastic display, a great nightlight. I think for the money you pay, you can't beat this. It's amazing. It's a great beta watch. It's one that everybody should have in their collection. It's something you can slap on when you need to go and do some work around the garden or wash the car. It's definitely a watch that everybody should have. And that's it. We got to the end of the video. So thank you very much for sticking around. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon and leave a comment and a like. And I'll see you in the next video.